More than 100 days since the Blues last kicked a ball in competitive action. Chelsea are back. Frank Lampard turned 42 years old yesterday. His last game as a player here with Chelsea saw him become the club's all-time leading scorer. There will be a period of reflection for COVID-19 victims and key workers before we start. They will take a knee in support of Black Lives Matter. And Mount is going to hit this. Mason Mount! Oh, it's a good save from Nylon. This is the standout moment of the first half of the first half. Alonso trying to stop him making any progress. Pass back to Douglas Luis was short, but he managed to get there anyway. Great save from Kepa, but where's the rebound going? It's in. Courtney Hawes gives Aston Villa the lead just before half time. Well, we've got to stay with our runners. Poor marking at the far post. No reaction. Header out as far as Kovacic. Oh, flashed wide and not by much. So what, it's a great touch, isn't it? It's first touch and then the strike was super. That's, really quite tough. That's a great delivery and it is in for 1-1. One, one. And Christian Pulisic has made an immediate impact. But this is on a plate for Pulisic. They don't deal with it, Villa. Now into Giroud, worked it back to Mason Mount. Laid it off for Azpilicueta. Here's Giroud, deflection, 2-1, yeah. just like that. The deflection then takes it past Nyland, and Chelsea are 2-1 up. Well, Christensen's missed it totally, and Hotter almost equalised with his first kick. Well, it's a decent enough try by Hotter. And there is the final whistle, and it is a winning start to project restart for Frank Lampard. It's final score here, Aston Villa 1, Chelsea 2.